Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. The measures of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Find the measure of each angle of the parallelogram. So let us assume that the angles are so let's assume that the angles be 3x and 2x. So let us assume that these would be the angles. Now as per the property of parallelogram, we know that sum of adjacent angles in a parallelogram is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore 3x plus 2x should be equal to 180 degree or we can say 5x will be equal to 180 degrees or x would be equal to 180 degrees divided by 5. So this would be 36. So x would be equal to 36 degree. Therefore the angles would be equal to 3 into 36 degree which would be equal to 108 degree and the other angle would be 2 into 36 degree that is 72 degrees. Therefore the angles would be 72 degrees and 108 degrees. Question number 6. The adjacent figure hope is a parallelogram. So as you see here this is a parallelogram. Find x, y and z. Okay so here again uh, we will make use of the properties of parallelogram. So first of all, I think we will try to find out this angle. Let us call this angle 1. Now if you see here, angle 1 plus 70 degree will be equal to 180 degree, right? Because this is a straight angle. Therefore, angle 1 will be equal to 180 degree minus 70 degree, which would be nothing but 110 degree. Now, as per the property of parallelogram, we know that opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. Therefore, we can say that x will be equal to angle 1 which is equal to 110 degree. Therefore, the value of x would be 110 degree. Now, let us talk about the other angles. Now, let us talk about the triangle EHP. Now from triangle EHP we know x, we know 40, we do not know this angle. So if we are able to find out this angle, we should be able to find out z because z is equal to this angle, right? So let us call this angle as angle 2. So in triangle EHP, the sum of the three angles that is x plus 40 degree plus angle 2 will be equal to 180 degrees. Now since EP is parallel to OH, therefore angle 2 will be equal to angle Z. So we can write it as X plus 40 degree plus Z is equal to 180 degree. Or X is 110 degree plus 40 degree plus Z is equal to 180 degrees. Or we can say Z is equal to 180 minus 150 which is equal to 30 degree. So that's how we found out the value of z. So now what we are left with? We are left with the value of y. So now we know z, we know angle 1. So all we are left out with is angle y. But do we really need to do so much of calculation to find out angle y? That's not needed because we know this angle is 40 degree and angle y is equal to 40 degree. Why? Because these are again alternate angles since EH is parallel to OP. Therefore, these are alternate angles. So, this is how we could find X, Y and Z. Question number 7. Find X and Y. So, here we see a parallelogram R, U, N, S and also its diagonals which meet at a point. Let's call this point as O. And we know by property that diagonals of a parallelogram, they bisect each other. So we will make use of this property to solve this question. Now since we know that diagonals bisect each other, that means RO will be equal to ON, that is 16 will be equal to X plus Y. This is one equation that we get. Also, SO will be equal to OU. Or this can be written as 20 will be equal to y plus 7. So let us call this equation 2. 
Now, we will solve the equation 2 to get the value of y, which is 20 minus 7, that is equal to 30. Now, we put the value of y is equal to 13 in equation 1. So, what do we get? 16 is equal to x plus 13. Or we can say x is equal to 16 minus 13, which is equal to 3. So, this is how we can calculate the value of x and y. Question number 8. In the figure, both risk and clue are parallelograms. So, R, I, S, K. This is one parallelogram and this is another parallelogram. They have been drawn in such a way that they uh, intersect each other for certain regions. So, some part of it is common for both the parallelograms. So, we have to find out the value of X. So here again we will make use of this property that opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Now when you look at this parallelogram, Q. So when you look at the parallelogram Q, you would see that angle E is equal to 70 degree. So angle E is equal to 70 degree because these are opposite angles. Now let us focus on the other parallelogram that is risk. So in this parallelogram if you see angle K plus angle S will be equal to 180 degree because angle K and angle S these two are adjacent angles and the sum of the adjacent angles is equal to 180 degree. So from this angle S will be equal to 180 degree minus angle K that is 180 degree minus 120 degree which is equal to 60 degree. So now if you look at let us call this point as point O. So now if you look at triangle OES what do you see? You know angle E, you, angle, you know angle S. So all that you need to find is S, X. So we know that sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So here let's put the value of angle S which is 60 degree, angle E which is 70 degree and this is equal to 180 degree. Therefore X is equal to 180 degree minus 130 degree which is equal to 50 degree. Therefore the value of X would be 50 degrees. Question number 9. Find the measure of angle P and angle S if SP is parallel to RQ. So SP and RQ are parallel. So let's see what would be the measure of angle P and angle S. Now ju just before we go ahead with the problem, uh, can you tell me if this is a parallelogram, the PQRS which you see on the screen? This is not a parallelogram because not both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Only one pair of opposite side are parallel. RS is not parallel to PQ. Therefore, this is not a parallelogram. So can you tell me which type of quadrilateral is this? This is nothing but a trapezium because one of the pair of sides are parallel. So this is a trapezium. So here what do we see? We see that this angle is given as 130, this angle is given as 90 and it is mentioned that SP is parallel to RQ. Now when these two are parallel, so if this is 90, so this would also be 90. So if this is also 90, this entire thing is 180, so this also has to be 90. So therefore, angle S will also be equal to 90 degree. Now we know that the sum of the four angles interior angles in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree. So we can say angle P plus angle Q plus angle R plus angle S. All the interior angles they sum to their sum would be 360 degree. So P is not known. Q is 130. R is 90. S is also 90. So this is equal to 360. So therefore, this comes out to be angle P plus 310 degrees is equal to 360 degrees or angle P is equal to 360 degree minus 310 degree which is equal to 50 degrees. So therefore, we could find angle P as 50 and angle S as 90 degrees. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.